Greetings, this is Beldragos, and I'm welcoming you to my Kingdom Come walkthrough. This is an amazing game, and this first episode will take a little over an hour, so please hit the like and the subscribe buttons, put your comments below, and sit back and enjoy the view. God bless. Same to you. Today's a scorcher. <laughs> mm. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. Mm. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. <laughs> Quick clout round the ear should do it. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <sighs> A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Welcome to the Let's Play. And I would suggest, at the beginning of the game, they give you an option to raise two of your stats. I would recommend the speech, because the other three can be eased, raised easily up through um, gameplay. The speech is the hardest, because you can only do it through a certain 
uh, options in speech. If you don't get to the right, hit the right options in the right order, uh, you can lose the that chance again. So I recommend getting the two free speech upgrades right at the beginning here. Mm, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, <coughs> and, um... Well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. And here's the second speech option. You think he's teaching me sword fighting, don't you? What use would that be to me? Here. I'm not lying to you, Ma. All right, then, if you say so. I don't mean to pry, but you know your father takes a dim view of such things. These options, where I can, I'm going to go through and show you each one of them. The, for the speech options. That way you can see all the different dialogues. Let's try the first one. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Mother. <sighs> You're nearly a grown man, Hal. Father will pass the fort on to you one day soon. You've been courting that Bianca for months now. Why do you have to keep wasting your time with those two layabouts? They're nothing but trouble. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Oh, oh. see if Pa's mad. angry with me for sleeping late. He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was, and you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain, but he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Do you need and me to do anything, Ma? And the last one. Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Okay, we're done with this dialogue line. And I can take and show you something. See, there's our second speech. Okay, stamp over here quick. Hit I for inventory, and it, and it calls the screen up. You can see that your strength Agility, Vitality, and Speech all started at 1. Those two speech options allowed your speech to go up to 3. This will help you later. Your health is 100. Energy is at 100. Your nourishment is at 40 because you just woke up. You haven't eaten yet. These are three stats are for sneaking. Charisma is for interaction with other people. And speed, well, that's speed. This is your armor. And right now you're just wearing trousers and a shirt. Each one provides the shirt, the boots, the scarf, and the and your trousers each provide one defense. Now your inventory, this is all that you have. You got your door keys, trunk keys, and then the clothes you wear. No money, and what you have weighs six pounds out of the seventy you can carry. Weapons, armor, food. Now, under your player option, this shows where your stats and your skills are. If you, I'm playing on PC, so if I push the Q button, it'll call up a description of what's outlined. Now, if you look under strength, scroll to the end of the description, you see that your strength per points every other level up so every odd level you get st um, strength perk points agility is every fourth vitality every third and speech every fourth 
like I said, speech is the hardest to get raised because the options are less in the game. Vitality, agility, and strength you can get mostly raised up through combat and other act physical activities. Let me get rid of this quick. And as you as you gain levels, the ribbons, you can just click on the ribbon and you can see the a bit the perks that you can take. Combat, it's the same with combat. The more you, more you fight, the warfare goes up, the more you, and your defense for your blocking. Your skill in axe, bow, mace, and sword, and your unarmed combat. And and some have perks and other and some other notes like for bow. Until you reach level five, you're unable to hold the bow correctly when you're firing because it's hitting your forearms and playing the skin off your forearm, causing injury unless you're wearing a vambris or other arm guard, in which case firing only drains stamina. So uh, if you don't have the right equipment with a bow, you will hurt yourself, just like in real life. Now your skills. Let me get rid of this. You, you can add alchemy skills to make your um, concoctions. Drinking, yes, you, on whether or not you can hold alcohol and everything. Like here, drinking habit. Under influence alcohol, your hand will shake 25% less and your bow skill will be higher than two, higher by plus two, but when sober, your hand will shake 25% more. Herbalism is a good one. You, you can gain skills in herbalism just by picking plants. And there's the developers place plenty of plants around in the little village for you to pick and to level up your herbalism, which is important because once you hit level 10, you can take leg day. And since you're crouching all the time to pick up everything, you're also gain strength in your stats. So you you could easily if you probably grab everything in here you might be able to max out your stats the the maximum level any of them can be as 20 for but you might be able to max out your herbalism to 20 if you're lucky enough there's horsemen hunting your your lock picking maintenance for repair your weapons and armor and reading yes you do not know how to read you have to find somebody to, tr to teach you and then you have to actually um, use it to gain to gain experience so you can gain skills they, they want that much into this game the buffs that are on you right now I'm hungry so I'm I, my stamina is decreased until I eat nourishment is at 40 And we'll take care of that afterwards. <coughs> Whoops, I needed that open yet. Hit the wrong button. When you have a horse, you can access it through this tab. Quest log shows which quests that you're currently working on. Main quest, the side quest, etc. Your map will call up a little mini map, which you can scroll to zoom in and out. You can actually um, hit the Q for a full screen, or you can hit M from the game to call it up. Codex. This is all the information on the background and everything behind the scenes of the game in in the medieval society. Animal husbandry, farming, what the people thought of foreigners, guilds and crafts, locate it locations, events, society, characters, and even tutorials like in dice and lock picking, pickpocketing. This is worth the time spent reading. Okay. Now let's get back into the game. Come over here, eat some hot lentil soup from the pot. 
Uh, if you notice, you went up 25. If you eat too much, it pulls from your stamina also. Stamina is one of the most important things in the game aside from your health. Stamina is actually used as a damage buffer for your for your hit points. As long as you have stamina, you'll less likely take damage from being struck with a weapon. I didn't mean to sit down. Oh well, I'll take these apples. Can't pick up an apple while you're sitting? That's strange. Let's stand up then. If you accidentally click on a stool or a bench, it'll find yourself sitting down like that. Apple? The reason I'm picking up all the food? is it can be sold. The coins that is used in the game, they're called Groshans. And various merchants you sell stuff to, to gain the, the Groshans. This is your family's pantry. But taking stuff out of it, it's actually stealing. So we're not going to do that for now. It's just not nice. Oh, one more thing. This chest, it's got some bandages, which is used for healing. Marigold de de decoction, which is a healing thing. Well, I didn't want to do that. And there's nails for Teresa, which I want to want to keep in here. Dang it! I didn't want to do that. Oh well. Just gotta remember not to click on her later. Giving the nails to Teresa when you're given the option will start a path that you can't back up on. So when the time that comes, that'll be the end of the episode. There, my nourishment should be nearly 90. Yep. Now, the plants that you can pick, starting back here, is nettle. Since there's some right here, I figured I'd show it to you. And as I see the others, I will point them out. But right now, we're trying to get some of the work done. Purple is sage. Yep. Chamomile. And dandelions. Those are the four main ones that are up, up here. But they're scattered throughout this village, surrounded by the palisade walls. But now we have to talk to Father. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? Persuasion. There's a bunch of information here. I'll let you pause it so you can read it properly. Okay, now I'm going to switch to the next page. So you can read through this properly. So as you can see, Father's stats are hidden for us all. So we have to sit and figure out which we would want to use. But I'm going to use my speech. Because it will get me some practice for the speech. Sorry, I had to go and deal with something. Well, it's no great tragedy. Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. 
Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? That drunkard? <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. <coughs> if not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure I'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Yay. We got quests. The cross guard is up this hill here at the castle gates. Oh, here's another one that you can be, the Valerian. But the one that you get the most is from Sage. As you can see, every time you do this, you crouch. Like like I said, leg day. And I already reached a level on herbalism. I'm just going to grab these right here quick. And as your skill in herbalism goes up, the more you, the more you can grab in a single attempt. I think that grabbed two of them. But you only grab the type that you're outlined. That you that you click. Butterflies. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. One part down. Now, if you look at the bottom, the we have uh, yellow is the stamina, the red is your health, and the little spot above the yellow next to the red is your opponent's health. And if you want to run, you just hold the left shift down. But that reduces your stamina because you're running. And as it decreases everything kind of turns kind of bluish and then it revives once you give a chance to rest and catch your breath right outside the gate in this first house is Kunish. We gotta talk to him. God be with you, Kunish. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. 
You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Oh, now we gotta either tell him we're gonna get dad. Use our speech skill, which is at three. Or try to look like we're tougher than we are, which is at two. There's a better chance at the speech skill. Look, I know things aren't easy. The wife ran off, booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. If I had anything to give, I'd give it. But I've got nothing. So leave me in peace, all of you. Oh, tried to get the axe, hammer, and nails back another way. He's using the axe. We can't take it that way. But by going into his house. Notice we're in a private area. Mm. We get a little tip chest. to talk to our friend Fritz. We need a lockpick to get into that. Fritz might have one. So we got to go find Fritz. And as our mother told us, Fritz is probably by the inn. This is the charcoal merchant. We can take and uh, get the charcoal from him. Every inn has a gaming a dice table at, so you can play dice, but you need money for that, which we have none. And normally I'd go in there, but to the we hero. have to get ale and so take it to, take it to uh, our father. So after we talk to Bianca, she tells us um, Vanyak was looking for us. So we can just kind of get ahead by talking to Vanyak now, and he's going to do us some little bit of sword training. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Of course. Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Sheep pans up this trail up here between this fence and the wall of the palisade. Right behind your house where you're sword fighting. As you can see there's a lot of sage up here. But there's a ton of um, nettle around the the um, pen where you're going to be fenced off area where you're going to be fighting. So while I'm waiting for him to get up here I'm going to work my way around the fence and pick up all this stuff so I'm not wasting time. I get about halfway through when he'll arrive. I can see him behind me, but... i just get this outside edge here. As you can see, I'm getting like every other one and I'm still grabbing all of them. Take the one in the middle, see if it grabs one either side, yep. Oh, 
Okay, I'd like to tell you first right now that there is stuff put in the game by the developers to allow you to advance your character using the skills within the game. A good example is picking the, the plants to get your herbology skill up, your herbalism skill up, and also at level 10 you can grant that leg day perk to get your strength up. Those are put in the game and I will use those. There are other aspects of the game which is kind of like cheating or exploiting. I'm not going to use those because that's not what the game was designed by. So, can we get started? And as I come across some, Good. I'll point them and out, but I'm the last not going to use them. Seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Unless you, my audience, requests it. I would prefer not to. Very well. And there's Let's one coming up here. Basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Okay, look at the little tip in the in the corner. The left click, sw the left button swings the sword, and depending on which way you move your mouse, depends on where you are attacking from. For example, I can go this way and swing from that side. Swing from the above. The blade five. is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Now we do a few pointies, which is the left click. <laughs> we gotta do it three times. There's one 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 thing in battle good, is if good. you Let's back away from an else. enemy, they'll come one towards strike. you. I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. As I was saying, if if you retreat away from enemy, they'll come in, and then you can just strike, and he'll walk into the blade. Here is one of the points where you can kind of cheat. You have to strike three chains. If you don't strike three chain attacks and just keep doing single attacks, being careful not to accidentally chain them together, you can prolong the fight and probably get your melee and stuff up. Nice. One strike. Nice. Wow. <laughs> As you notice, each attack, the stamina goes down. So you have to keep an eye on that. All right, that's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember, though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. Okay, now it's time to go back to the inn. So we can do that cutscene. 
And we have to talk to Fritz before we get too far because he's got the lockpicks. Fritz is over here, that's my friends. But as soon as we step in, we're going to get locked into a cutscene. You can't be serious, Deutsch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitors. Now even the Pope God be with is you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. So What's going on here? Deutsch is spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the Empire! <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson, doesn't he, Fritz? Too I Matthew. Should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit. It made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it to be honest. But. Doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for her father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? Fritz sounds like a psychopath. But that's just my opinion. Well, we could get the money from him, from him well, earlier, I'll so we're it. gonna have my friends but help. Then you him. have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kuna shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem. We'll back you up. Just as soon as we're done plastering Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken oaf. All right. Let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. Now we got to get to him and... Hey. Listen, get there's this right locked chest I need to get into. Really? Been on straight not good enough for you anymore? It's just that someone has something that doesn't belong to him, and I want to take it back. <laughs> if you say so. It's not skin off my nose anyway. I've got some lock picks you can have. But if you get caught, you didn't get them from me. <laughs> Never heard of you. Thanks, Fritz. Okay. What is it? You gotta be really quick. Sometimes it's hard to get a hold of Fritz. And you, you lose the option of the lock 
picks once he gets down with those guys. At least I've never been able to get him because after all this event he starts working in a field and you can't click on him. So the window closes. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. Well, I guess I gotta go to it. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the popes. He might have mentioned the popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. I could sit on the bench. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, Doshus! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, hands! Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Oh, sons! I'll make those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. Nice arm. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker! I'll make you pay for that! Time to fight. Keep an eye on stamina. That's some weird combat. They're standing right next to him, not doing anything. Okay, after one goes down, a woman runs up. And warns us the catch pole's coming. What are you doing? For God's sake! Stop right now! The 
catchpole is on his way. He'll catch you and throw you in jail. supposed to meet over here. C for crouch, which is what you do if we're doing sneaky stuff like um, pickpocketing, etc. There'll be a tutorial later on on that when we actually get around to learning the skill. But you can sneak up behind somebody and use the F button to knock them out. Then you can pick up their body. If nobody sees you do it and hide it, that's how you would be able to take Kanush and put him into his house. And then use that exploit to beat him up again and again. Still waiting for people to show up. Any minute now. I thought they saw him up there, but there they are. Two comes from one side and one comes from the other. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. The weirdest thing is I notice people do that weird nodding. You don't really notice it until the, after the game's been a while, but... I need a hand with Kunesh. Sure, mate. You helped us, so we'll help you. Just like that. Let's get to it, then. Incidentally, the faces are actually digitally scanned uh, a lot from real people. I believe the main character, the one that you're playing... Is one Finish. of the lead designer. Get out here, you old goat! I've something to show you. What the fuck are you here for? You want me to take a whip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. Take that! Yeah, <sighs> you'll die for that. Eh? <laughs> Again, oh. doing much. Gain a new level of arm fair, unarmed and warfare. Arm fair. <laughs> Now he'll give us the keys to his house and his chest so we don't have to use the lockpicks that we're given. And permission to take his stuff so it's not stolen.
one of these days. This bodes ill. It's unusually long. If it takes too long, I'll just... Enough! Enough! I give up! Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Damn, we fucked him up. Uh, like I said, if you if you were behind him and knocked him out, dragged him in, threw him in the corner, you'd be able to cheat. But he gave you permission to take his stuff to pay the bet debt. Well, as long as I'm in here. The rest of this house, as large as it is, has absolutely nothing in there except scraps. There's nothing you can loot. Nothing worth anything. He literally has the hammer, nails, and axe as his most valuable things. <coughs> Speaking of axe, we doesn't forget this. Now, let's go over to the charcoal assistant, the helper. Greetings. Let's trade. Now, in the trade window, what, what you can buy is listed under buy. What you can sell is listed under sell, obviously. And the basket is what is everything that's being traded. We need 10 bags of charcoal. 7, 8, 9, 10. That comes to 5 coins. Now, we need to sell Kunich's axe, Kunich's hammer, his nails. Unfortunately, that's not enough. So, let's sell the chamomile. The dandelion, all the nettle I picked up, that sage, sage alone was nearly worth five groschen and the valerian. I believe that's everything. The food we can sell to our girlfriend. Let's go look at the basket. We got 10 charcoal. The tools and the plants that we picked up, which is why I picked up the plants. Now we can try haggling. I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm not that good at haggling, but hey. I'd like to discuss the price. Sure, why not? Here's a little tutorial on haggling. I'm ha yeah. Page 1. Pause it and read it. And page 2. Page 2. Pause it and read it. Okay. Six gold. Let's see if we can get them up longer to higher. Let's see if we can get them at nine. He'll offer something lower. That's still too much. 
so he'll offer seven so we'll go back up to seven very well I agree we made an extra coin out of it and if you look at our stuff speech is a Got up a little bit higher. Strength. Now we're going to combat. Our sword skill is almost up to one from our little bit of training. Unarmed went up a little bit. A little bit in the warfare of level one. So we went up a level on each. So. I'm going to show you how to how to Greetings, play Henry. dice. How are you? Poor. So I want to play dice. Want to try your luck? Dice. We need to have a couple coins left over, so let's lower it. Offer to play dice before Groshin. The goal is to get to 2,000 points. Let's hit the help so I can show you. You can take and pause this and read it, but in a nutshell, ones and fives are what you want to get. Three of a kind is worth that much in, in hundreds, unless it's ones, and then that's worth that much for a thousand. If you get four of a kind, it doubles that. If you get five of a kind, it doubles it again. So, Three ones is worth a thousand. Four ones is worth two thousand. Five ones is worth four thousand. So I've got a two twos, a four, a three, a six, and a five. So only thing I can hold on is the five. Then hit F to to score it and roll again. And if you don't get anything, you bust. Roughly, you got a one in three chance of getting something. Not counting any of the. Oh, there I busted. Not counting any of the others. You can stop anytime. He's got a five. Hmm. And a one. Hmm. And another one. If he stops now, I'll be. <laughs> 250. Oh, he's got 350. This will be the one. 455, and he can roll That's all it. five dice. Keep going. We'll see. He only took one. That's worth 600. And he'll stop at 12. I'm kind of screwed. Three, three, three. That's three hundred. Well, I I can get four hundred. But I'm gonna keep this and roll the whole thing. To, oh, I can keep it all. Score and roll the whole thing again. Two, four, six. I mean, two hundred. I want to grab that two and the one. So, take that, 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 and that. And I'm going to pass the dice. I don't think I'm going to get any better than this. If he gets lucky, I get screwed. 
Hmm. Um. No point in pushing it. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna get screwed on this. I have to push it in order to. gets 400 points he wins so I got nothing to lose really God be with you, Henry. Ooh, I got lucky okay I got 200 and another five. Oh, I can I got them all Again. One, two, fifty. One, two. Oops, I don't want that one. Two fifty. Um, I got one to three chance. I got one to three chance. I'm going to go for it. Let's see, 950, 6, 9. That is 1,300 and 1,650. I need 50 more. So I'm going to go for it. If I get anything here, I win. If not, I lose. Ooh, I think I got it. Ah, 100 short. If he gets 400, he wins. That's it. 200. Hmm. So close. No Busted. <laughs> Busted. There's 300. No point in pushing it. Oh, he stopped. He stopped. I can win it. 246. 50. Take this. 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 And this. Keep it, and I win. Ha. All that work for, for, for a poor groschen. Now he's pissed. You get up, go. Arr. No, I got quest to finish. Been at this for an hour now. I gotta go talk to my girl. Oh, another thing: if you're gonna be doing sneaky stuff, yeah, you should go where nobody is. Make sure nobody's seeing you. <laughs> I know that mead's down here. And you take it up. Coming right up. Sell it to her. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. After you're done with this conversation with her, We'll take and sell her all the food, including the ale we just get, the mead we got from the cellar. Here you are.
Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanian. I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favourite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. Oh, they won't let me trade. Well, the reason that save your schnapps is important because there's only three ways you can save in the game. The first is when the game saves automatic. Second is by sleeping in a bed, your own bed. And the third is the use of save your schnapps. Save your schnapps is expensive. How expensive? I'll show you. Scroll down here. She should have two of them still in her inventory at 77 apiece. Now, if you were to sell, she only buys food items. And she carries 150 of wealth. So you can trade out, get 150 coins from her. But first, let's add all the apples. The lentil soup. And the mead. That's only, all that stuff was only worth three. Let me just close the deal. <coughs> Inventory. Food items. We just got the schnapps, but we got 14 coin. Considering we left the house with nothing and we did all the tasks and Hey, you shut the door Ended up with extra coin What are we doing as far as nourishment 73 We can go eat out of the pot upstairs and ha have it nearly full again Let's run. It's getting a little bit late in the day. Stamina back. Hmm. Won't let you eat out of there. Wrong way. Nope, we already ate. We're too full. I will just do our cutscene here. After the cutscene is where we're going to be calling it because at that point we're going to have to give the nails to that girl. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? Yes. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can and, start. And I nod Good weary. job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. And now begins one of the best cutscenes right. so far in this. 
Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. <laughs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. And we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? <laughs> the boy gets caught making a fool of himself and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Good saying. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, Try using your mouth and not your fists. The furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. It really hurt if his hand slipped. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together.
looks magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. And this is the point at which I will use one of my saviors to save at this spot. Uh, and then I will spend probably several hours picking every plant I can find to use the chance that the moderator, the game designers gave us. I would like everybody to hit the like buttons, the subscribe buttons, and please leave your comments in the section below. Let me know what you think of this, if I should continue, and what you think about all the ways that people are exploiting the game to get um, better stats instead of playing along and using what the designers put in. Well, I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Better save quick. And thank you very much. Have yourself a good evening. I will try to have another video up in the next day or two, depending on my work schedule, which is going to be kind of heavy the next couple days. But I plan on trying to put out as many of these episodes as I can. This game is too fun not to play. Thank you very much, and have yourself a good day.